हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम अगेन इन द सीरीज ऑफ ई लर्निंग क्लासेस इन माय प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द प्लांट अशोक टुडे आई विल गिव इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द प्लांट लूद्र बोथ द ड्रग्स आर यूज्ड इन फीमेल डिसऑर्डर आचार्य प्रीवर्स शर्मा इंक्लूडेड बोथ द प्लांट्स अंडर द हेडिंग आर्तव संग्रहण द्रव्य introduction in ayurveda lodra is elaborated in detail due to its pitta and kapha pacifying activities lodra or rodra it cleans the wounds arrest bleeding and initiate fast healing process of wound it has been considered as drug of choice in the treatment of gynecological disorder Lodra is among the best ayurveda herbs to alleviate all the health issue of females it is recommended for gynecological problems especially in frequent abortion it has been used to cure menorrhagia leucorrhea and other menstrual disorders it has been also useful in abortion and miscarriages and for ulcer of vagina lodra nourishes the skin and gives benefits in acne and other related skin disorders the latin name of lodra is simplocus racemosa and it belongs to simplocaceae family in hindi it is called lodha and in english it is known as simplocus tree or lodha tree vernicular names these are some vernicular names of lodra in assamis it is known as mugam in bengali it is known as lodha or lodra in gujarati lodas in kannada lodra in malayalam pachotti in marathi lodha or lodra in punjabi lodhar in tamil velilathi in telugu lodhuka classical classification according to charak it is in sandhaniya mahakashaya the group of herbs used in healing of bone fracture or wounds purish sangrahaniya mahakashaya the group of herbs useful and antidiarrheal and shonit sthapan mahakashaya in shushrut this this plant included in lodhradi gana ambashthadi gana and nyagrodhadi gana distribution it is found abundantly in the plains and lower hills throughout north and east india ascending in the himalayas up to an elevation of 1400 meter southwards it extends up to chota nagpur it is very commonly found in lower hills of bengal assam and burma morphology it is an evergreen small tree or shrub up to 6 to 10 meter tall we can see the picture of lodra leaves the leaves are simple alternate spiral petiole up to 1.5 cm long glabrous oblanceolate to narrow elliptic apex narrowly acuminate base acute margin serrated and slightly recurved glabrous midrib cannuli ciliate above secondary nerves 6 to 12 pairs flowers the inflorescence of lodra flower is axillary racemes up to 14 cm long and tomentose flower flowers are shortly stalked bisexual generally 
the flowering occurs in the month of november and continues till the month of february the color of flowers are cream small in size and are mostly found in cluster fruits the fruits are smooth sub cylindric and ellipsoid droop nearly 1.2 cm long and 6 mm broad one to three seeded with a woody endocarp bark the bark is grayish brown longitudinally wrinkled and horizontally lenticels are present and outer surface is uneven rough due to cracks and feces it is usually grayish brown to gray externally and pale whitish to brown internally young branchlets are glabrous and lenticellate chemical constituents some flavonoid glucosides are present in the bark of lodra for example simplocosite simposide ellagic acid etc some glycosides like remnetin some phytosterol olinolic acid oxalic acid loturidine loturin phytosterol amirin etc these chemical constituents are present in the plant lodra types of lodra according to the classical evidences there are two types of lodra are present one is known as shavar lodra and the another one is known as pattika lodra now the properties of lodra ras panchak the ras of lodra is kashay and tikt the guna is laghu and ruksha vipak is katu and virya is sheet on dosh karma this is kapha pitta hara karma first is chakshusha lodra has sheet virya that is cool potency and laghu guna and because of these properties it is beneficial for eyes next is garbhashaya shravanashak because of the presence of kashayaras it is very much helpful in abortion that's why it is garbhashaya nashak grahi the ras kashay and sheet virya due to this property the karma grahi next kushthagna this is very much useful in skin disorder pitta hara the ras kashay and virya sheet due to this property it is act as a pitt hara rakt stambhan again due to the kashayaras and sheet virya it is help in arrest the bleeding next is varnia it is very much helpful in enhancing the complexion vrana ropan it is very much helpful in wound healing due to the presence of kashay ras indication atisar that means in diarrhea because of the property of grahi it is useful in atisar or diarrhea next is garbhashaya shrav because of the property garbhashaya shravanashak it is useful in garbhashaya shrav it that means it is useful in abortion and miscarriages next is netra rog because of the property sheetavirya and laghuguna 
it is beneficial for eyes and because of that it is indicated in netra rog pradar rog and shwet pradar this drug is con uh, considered as a drug of choice in the treatment of gynecological disorder so it has been used to cure the leucorrhea or menorrhagia and other menstrual disorders next is rakta pitta that means intrinsic hemorrhage because of the property rakta stambhak property it is indicated in rakta pitta disease the another one is shoth that means inflammation and uvan pedica that means acne therapeutic uses in shwet pradar or leucorrhea the paste of lodra is taken with the decoction of water bark next is pravahika that means it is used in dysentery lodra with curd is useful in dysentery it is given in bhav prakash nikhantu next is kushth the paste of bark is used externally in the skin disorder next is uvan pedica in astang hriday the paste of lodra bark with sphatic should be applied locally in uvan pedica or acne the next is vrana according to the charak the powder of dhatki and lodra externally used in the healing of wound again astang hriday given the indication in stri roga the lodhrasava is the important formulation for women's diseases now the useful part the useful part of this plant lodra is bark and flower doses in the powder form the bark of this powder the doses are 3 to 5 g and in the form of decoction that is 50 to 100 ml formulations some classical formulations are lodrasava or rodrasava it is indicated in menorrhagia leucorrhea skin diseases bleeding piles and grahni that is ibs irritable bowel syndrome the next one is pushyanuga churna it is used in dysmenorrhea irregular menstrual bleeding and excessive menstrual bleeding the next one is brihat gangadhar churna it is indicated in diarrhea dysentery and colitis some another formulations are pradarantak churna kumariyasava and chandanasava other proprietary medicines are ivcare stiplon hemfortin emtotone and hempushpa why the lodra is beneficial in gynecological or female disorders recent researches confirms that lodra normalizes the follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone luteinizing hormone or lh is a hormone produced by gonadotropin cell in the anterior pituitary gland it triggers ovulation and development of the corpus luteum lodra has anti androgenic effect and prevents ovarian cell dysfunction in pcos and improved the fertility treatment with lodra bark significantly decreases testosterone level which is found to be elevated in pcos it significantly restores estrogens progesterone and cholesterol level lodra restores the histology of the ovarian tissue 
the ovarian weights and uterine weights significantly significantly improves after treatment with lodra bark lodra is useful in an inflammation of the uterus due to its anti inflammatory effects and it helps in maintaining the ratio of estrogen and progesterone in the female body thus preventing menstrual irregularity substitution and adulteration some species are used as substitute and adulterant these are simplocus carotenoids and simplocus spicata thank you for hearing me patiently